A wise man will change his mind many times, but a fool never does. And that is somewhat similar to uh, the agriculture in, uh, and the American dairy farmer in today's world. Craig Stevens was dubious when he first received information about a new program offering energy audits to farmers. But after initially shelving the offer, Stevens decided to go ahead with the program in the hope of saving some money. Based on what I learned with the energy audit, it caused me to look at other ends of the operation and other parts of the operation of a farm. The first and most major was probably what they refer to as a variable speed vacuum pump. The old system, we were flatlined. It started and it ran flatlined all the way across. The new system, when it powers up, that's the old kilowatts running through the line. When it powers down, you know you're saving money because it's less kilowatts. The second thing I did was install two scroll spreaders. When that milk needs to be cooled after going into a large tank, the one scroll, the one scroll compressor kicks on, starts cooling my milk. There is an adjoining compressor that waits and then it will kick on to, to help the first compressor so that there are two of them working together. The length of time that it takes to cool the milk was substantially decreased over uh, in terms of watching a clock. The third thing was start changing my lighting system. It was a matter of, well, I can put in these lower usage bulbs, but they're not gonna function as good as the old one did. But over a period of time, by using an energy efficient bulb, it really cut back. The payback was very conservative based on the audit and it was said it was going to take approximately five years plus. But it's not gonna take somebody with a PhD, just follow your monthly billing to know that we're gonna get a return a lot faster and far more and far greater than what the original audit showed. To sum it up, the bottom line would probably be based on the economic situation of the dairy farmer today and what we were receiving for our milk, if I had not instituted those programs, you and I would not be standing here having this conversation today.